So at this point, I'm pretty sure all of us knows that iOS 17 will eventually have sideloading. But what does it mean for your security? Well, let's discuss. Now personally, I was doing sideloading on Android for a very long time. I'm a main Android device user. And don't get me wrong, I do like iOS, you know, it has some really cool things, has some really cool features. But I hate the idea of a locked operating system. I pay for a product and then they tell me what to do and what I can't do with the product. So I have a big problem with this one. The problem is, uh, with Android at the moment, we everybody knows that Android has a couple of security issues. Maybe a little bit more than a couple. The thing is that those security issues that they're happening on Android, it's not because of Android, it's because of users. So the moment you install an application from an untrusted source, you're risking yourself for security. You're the one who's doing the bad thing. It's not the device, it's not the company, it's you. So with iPhone becoming iOS 17.2 right now, it literally has in, in the source code, has literally like um, uh, files there for siloing, which will eventually come because of the EU law. Now it's a hit and miss if it's going to be just in Europe, or it's going to be worldwide. So if you're in America, there's a possibility you will not have siloing. But in Europe, for sure, we will have it. They have until March 2024 to open the store. Now, what that means? The easy way that that means is that you can install applications like Epic Store, uh, Amazon Store, Google Play, maybe it's coming to iPhone. So you have more ways to install apps. You don't have to use the Apple one, the App Store from Apple. You can install application from wherever you want. The big thing that we're talking about security right now. So if you're going to install an application like Spotify plus plus or you're going to install something that is cracked so it's piracy then yes you are risking yourself to privacy and security because those applications you know the, the people who does this they need to survive somehow they, they're not staying home and doing you know simple task modify an application just so you can use it and be happy no they're doing something there so they can make money everybody makes money so what they will do they will probably gather information and then sell it so the moment you install an application like spotify plus plus and stuff like this then it's your fault for the security another way that is going to be exposed for this one is jailbreaking now jailbreaking at the moment is pretty hard to do it and especially with ios being so tight and so locked there is nothing you can do about it but ios now being able to side load and then depending on the permission that you will be able to have on the application that you will side load there's a big possibility right now that jailbreaking will become even more easier so it, it's a hit and miss personally i did a lot of jailbreaking in the past i stopped doing jailbreaking now because you know i don't see the point of jailbreaking anymore uh, on android in the past i was doing the same thing i would design custom roms now i stay with the official one because there's no point for me to update to the new one but this is the point the bad things of jailbreak of ios side loading sorry you will be able to easily probably jailbreak uh, compared to others so this one will be a big problem for apple because they will need to fight and be more prepared for people jailbreaking their device and then it will be a more risk for you if you know what you're doing so if you don't know what you're doing then that's kind of on you that's not going to be an apple problem now there's another good thing about it so using a third party store that means you won't have to pay apple the 30 percent so maybe the store will take any just 10 percent compared to apple's 30 percent so the application might be cheaper in the same time it's also a security risk you have to trust that store so if, if amazon is coming you have to trust amazon store that they're doing you know they're protecting your data and stuff like that so apple doesn't have nothing to do with this now the good part that i can see from here is literally application like emulators so that means you'll be able to install and play all games you know ps1 games ps2 games nintendo games on your iphone with no problem you can install literally the emulator being like a normal application now again when you do install this application make sure that it's always from the official source so the team that's working on the dolphin emulator for example make sure you download the official application from the dolphins website do not download it from google don't just type and download uh, the app from there literally make sure to always download from the official source if you download from the official source you can install as many applications as you want 
there won't be a problem. There's also a catch that Apple will not give full permission to these applications, but um, I don't see that happening because they will have to. If they don't give full permission, that means it's not sideloading. But there will probably be a way that Apple will try to like emulate this application into their own space. So think about like a virtual machine using Windows, right? You have a Mac OS and you're using Windows on a virtual machine. That virtual machine has its own space. That means that none of your files from the original hard drive will not be accessed on the virtual machine. So if something happens with the Windows, or I don't know, you get hacked for some reason, then the Windows does not have access to your Mac so the hacker doesn't have access to your Mac. So there's a possibility Apple will try to make a situation like this, put the application in their own space so they don't have full access to the operating system. Maybe they will have access to the library, like photos and stuff like that, because if you're using an application from outside the App Store that it's editing photos, for example, or editing videos, then you will need to access your pictures. So then you'll get prompted with, are you sure you want to allow this one? But then, system files, no application I think it will be allowed to access more than the regular things that you can do right now. And at the moment, there are applications that they're allowed to do this. For example, when you're using an application to jailbreak, then the application will actually has access to the exploits, to the system files, to everything. Probably this application will not have access anymore, so they will be like locked in their own bubbles. But yeah, personally, I am pretty excited about this. Uh, I can't wait, literally I can't wait. I, I want to sideload iOS uh, applications from like forever. I did it on Android, I don't have any problems and you know, just be careful. Don't sideload any application that they're free when officially they're paid because those ones, they will have something. And uh, yeah, that's it. I don't know, are you excited about it? I personally am. But yeah, leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys next one.